Perfect. Hello. We got it. So, how, how are you today? Good. I'm doing really well. Yeah, it's a beautiful day. How are you? I'm doing. I'm doing good as well. You know, just, uh, just, uh, I'm good. But I have to clean a lot of mess going on because of my parkour dog. As I mentioned, you. Parkour and, dog. Yeah, he decided to be like, you know what? I'm bored, so I'm gonna do some parkour in the living room and broke some stuff up because I'm a dog. So why not? So, <laughs> oh, no. What kind of dog do you have? I have three. So, um, one oh, wow. is, yeah, one is a husky, the other one is kind of a collie, and the third one is a pit bull. Now, the story for the pit bull is kind of a, so one day I was uh, I was at the mall, and then I saw this puppy tied to a pole. So then I, of course, I asked around, like, is this someone's dog? No one, everybody said, like, no. Then the, there were, like, some, uh, some security people uh, from, uh, from the store, and then I asked, hey, do you know who's the owner of this dog? Then they say, no. So, uh, so turns out that uh, I I waited out for a bit. I mean, I did the things that I uh, that I was gonna do there, but then I waited out for more time, and then nothing. And then I was like, well, then I th then I think that I'm gonna take it to me. So I took it home, and it's been amazing. Although because he's a puppy and the other two are kind of old ones, you can imagine how. Uh, so for example, the uh, the other ones will be sleeping, and because he's young, he wants to play all the time. So sometimes the uh, the other ones will be like, ugh. Yeah. But uh, but that's part. Of it. Yeah, that's part. Of it. Yeah, we have two dogs as well. <laughs> oh, oh, really? Okay. Wow. Uh, what kind? Uh, two pit bulls. <laughs> they're mixed okay. with something, but they're both rescues. So. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, and you know it's so amazing how like the other day I was um I was walking with a pit bull and then uh and then this neighbor right. Uh, I was like, oh, so you have like a, so so you have a pit bull, and I was like, yeah, so, but you better know that these dogs are very aggressive, and I was like, you know what, I'm totally against that, I would say that it's more the human who make the dog aggressive, instead of the dog being yeah. aggressive, you know, Definitely. so, so now what I do is that, because they think that my dog is super aggressive, every time they would say, like, does he bite, I would say, no, he, he just finished eating, so he, he, you, you'll He's be fine, <laughs> you know, but anyway, yeah. crazy people. But, uh, but hey, welcome to the show. As I said, it is so cool to have you here. And you know, what better way to start an epic Sunday with someone as bad as you? You know what I mean? <laughs> Great. <laughs> Love it. Love it. So, starting with the whole interview now. And, and um, tell me, how this journey through acting started? Uh, I think I've always been interested in acting. Since I was a kid, I would always dress up. And my cousins and I would put on, like, little shows mm. every Thanksgiving and family gathering so I think I've just always been attracted to acting and putting on shows and making people laugh entertained so just always <laughs> I love it I love yeah. it and you know back when you were recently started you know like what were some of the challenges that you had when you were making like let's say those first steps through your acting career into a like more professional way let's say yeah uh, I think the first challenge I encountered was transitioning from high school to college because okay. acting my whole life I was always involved in theater and classes and dance and would always put on shows so I would always have a role and was always just you know amazing and everyone loved me and and then transitioning into college it kind of I was kind of hit with the the first reality of oh wow there's a lot of really talented people it's yeah. not me who am I? What's my individual unique voice? Because, you know, I wasn't cast in a lot of things. I yeah. auditioned for plays and short films, and I was told no a lot <laughs> up front. And I was like, do I suck? Am I terrible at acting? Should I find something else? It was, it was kind of a big wake up call for me, but I'm glad I stuck with it and figured out who I am and mm -hmm. what I have to bring to the table. and just allowing myself to realize that, okay, there's other people that are talented and can actually contribute to my gifts. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. And was it like overwhelming? You know, like when you were making like those first steps on on, uh, on theater and you were like, okay, so this is like the real deal now. Was it like o overwhelming for you? A little bit, but mm -hmm. I think I enjoyed it. <laughs> yeah. There was um, the adrenaline kind of attracted me to it as well and just the intensity of just totally. auditions and this and that it was just like I think the chaos was kind of fun 
it was kind of a exciting feeling. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, I love it. Okay. And you know, it's, I think like those moments are amazing because those moments are, are, are like when you truly kind of feel alive, you know what I mean? Like when you have like this over like this yeah when it's overwhelming something that you're about to do and at the same time you love it you know it's kind of a i mean i love those kind of feelings because it, they truly kind of make you feel like it's happening you know what i mean yeah i sometimes operate better under stress yeah i know what you mean so. yeah it's <laughs> interesting okay now how you usually prepare a character i understand of course that uh it depends on the role most of the times right but like what are kind of the Yeah, like what are kind of the things that you always do in order to kind of set this character? Um, I think for theater or for film, it's definitely different from my commercial preparation. Yeah. <laughs> commercial is very different, but for bigger roles, dramatic roles, I, I definitely figure out like the whole background of my character. If it's not already laid out in the script somewhere, mm. I kind of create it and I always focus on the why. Why does my character say what they're saying? Why do they do what they're doing? Yeah. And I kind of break it down, I'll write it out. Like I figure out, okay, why am I saying this to this character? And I figure out the different tactics. Yeah. Get what I want, everyone wants something. And in the film I figure out, okay, what's like the big one? Mm. The big objective. And then I figure out the smaller objectives. Okay. And about tactics and okay when I said this and this character didn't respond the way I wanted them to I switched my and I said this and so I figure okay why do I say that and you know there's always a subtext to everything you know sometimes my character will say this but there's always a reason why and I figure out the subtext to it and almost write the entire monologue around the one line yeah. <laughs> so The preparation takes a lot of hours, but it's different than my commercial preparation because that's, <laughs> you know. Yeah, yeah. Now, talking about commercials, one of the most recent commercial ones is with Pokemon. <laughs> it was. <Okay. laughs> yeah. Now, yeah. I saw it. I thought I thought that it was super. Yeah, it was super funny. Now, tell <laughs> me how was that experience in your life? Did you like? Did you? Did they let you kind of uh, improv a little bit, or how was it? It, it was a lot of fun. So the initial audition, I knew it was for like a video game. I didn't know it was for Pokemon. And yeah. I was really busy that day. It was kind of a last minute, like my agent called and was like, hey, can you get this audition in like tonight? And I was like, sure, whatever. So I did it in one take. It, it's funny because like the things that I try really hard for, I tend to not get, but the things that I just like kind of throw away, don't really think about it are the parts that I usually get. Yeah. Um, so I just did the audition in like one take. I kind of halfway memorized it and just improvised most of it. And they absolutely loved it. And they were like, yeah, this is for Pokemon. We've been auditioning in New York and Pittsburgh and haven't really found what we wanted. So we came to DC and you know, this is great. And I was like, oh, that's awesome. Yeah. But the director was really great to work with. He let me improvise a lot. We kind of worked together on like the movement and choreography. We didn't really have like a shot list at the beginning. We kind mm -hmm. of spent like an hour initially like, okay, this is the space we're in. Like, let's figure out what we want to do. So we had this like nice staircase. We had this nice fireplace that we knew we wanted to incorporate somehow. So we just kind of did it a couple of different ways improvised and I think there was a part where I sat on like the chaise and like had the pillow and yeah. he's like oh I love it let's keep that I love the pillow that's fun <laughs> so it was it was a lot of improv and then we showed the uh, marking rehearsal to the crew mm. and that's where they kind of figured out you know I went into hair and makeup and they figured out like what shots we want to get yeah. based on that all so <laughs> that was I love it. it was yeah I love it So dramatic, but I love it. <laughs> it was amazing. <laughs> yeah. It was really cool. It was really cool. Thank That's you. so cool. Now, let's say that one day I call you and then I tell you, guess what? I'm going to play a character. Now, I only have like 20 minutes of experience of acting and that's it. So based on what you know, what do you think that are some of the things that I need to consider when I will jump into play this character? 
Uh, I would say figure out what the biggest differences and similarities between you and that character. Like if you have a, you know, short amount of time to prepare a character and are newer at this, like figure out what connects you with that character. Mm -hmm. What are your similarities? And then what are your biggest differences? And then take the differences and go, okay, like, <laughs> how can I justify why my character does this? Because I wouldn't do that, but like, what kind of create a background to like, what yeah. pick these things and why they would do that. <laughs> so. Okay, yeah. okay. I'll take note on that. Yeah. And, um, so when you are in the, in the, in this process of, um, of character creation, tell me, like, do you, do you usually stay on character until the day of performance or you manage to kind of stay on, stay out, you know, like stay on, stay out, uh, until like, how is that process when you, so you get the character now and now you just need time to wait for the performance, either on film, theater. So do you, so my question here is, do you stay on character until that time or you just kind of, uh, be like, okay, I will add this and and remove this or put this instead of that like what is after so my process with theater and film is very different so, i had to kind of like i grew up doing theater and then i transitioned to film after i think it was like sophomore year of college my first film and some tactics and techniques i used in theater were not working for okay. film. um because theater i'm much more like i want to be immersed in the character the whole time i've got like a two hour show or an hour and a half so it's easier to kind of stay in character and stay with it until it's over um but for film you know we're filming 12 to 14 hour days it it's impossible and exhausting especially playing a dramatic character to stay in character for 14 hours uh, i don't think that's really that wasn't really working for my mental health yeah, absolutely so i, I kind of take a more you know subjective approach with film and um breaking in and out of character mm. you know just being myself and then until the cameras start rolling transitioning into character so <laughs> okay okay and what advice could you give to new upcoming actors let's say also that i tell you i'm gonna i'm gonna start in the acting business what advice could you give to me networking <laughs> making connections uh talking to as many people as you can uh that's what i did early on once i knew i wanted to get into film i contacted a couple actors that i knew yeah. were doing what i wanted to do and not everyone responded but the people that did respond i was like can i have a 15 minute phone call just get advice how did you get where you are like what should i do and Um, and I got some roles doing that and some background work doing that. And then when you're on set, talking to as many people as you can, just getting advice, you know, not just the actors, but a lot of the crew members as well. And just, um, I also take an interest in like the, the crew side of stuff. I find it very fascinating and I've built a lot of connections that way and have gotten more jobs that way. But Cool. Um, yeah, just getting as much advice as you can. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah. Now, if you could describe a film in which all of the characters you have played at the moment, like since day one to, until right now, basically. So it's going to be all of those characters, and they're going to gather to celebrate your birthday. So it's your characters and the real you, you. Yeah? Okay. Tell me, what would be the name of that film? The name of that film with all the... Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Let's see. I think um, Rosemary had the turkey Christmas dinner with a box. <laughs> okay. That sounds like a dramedy, right? <laughs> yeah, for sure. Okay. I would like to see that film. How much are to tag Netflix and HBO? Oh, yeah. 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 You never know. You never know. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Now, if you could describe your whole acting career on a drink, or even a meal, what, which one would you choose? Mm, my career would definitely be like an all-you-can-eat buffet. Okay, okay. Because <laughs> I think I've played a lot of different kinds of roles and I've done a wide variety of different acting gigs. So 
everything's been completely different from each other. So just a big plate, you know, seafood, Chinese food, yeah, yeah, yeah. sushi, okay. just everything. Okay, okay. So it's a mix of, of, of mix this of huge table, a mix of everything you hear going. Yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah. Now, like what motivates you? You know, we all have those days, right? In which we just want to quit. I mean, regardless of how good things might be or not, or normal, you know, we tend to kind of uh, other, sometimes complicate ourselves and be like, I don't want to do it anymore. It's a waste of time, like blah, 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 you know, getting into, getting into, into all of these toxic thoughts is way too easy. But what usually puts you out of it so you can continue on this journey that you have been creating for so many years now? Yeah, I, I think my love for it just the passion that I have. And I think what motivates me is people. Okay. <laughs> I, I look forward to when I get to go on set and just talk to people and ask them how their day is going. And um, Cause a lot of acting is behind the scenes as well. It's not just what is seen on camera. It's the okay. whole collaborative creative process that we've all built together so when you see like a half a second of a clip of my commercial like what you see is that commercial but what I see is like oh man it took 30 minutes to get that you know fake blood on my head and I remember you know I hit my head on the door and we're all laughing about that and mm -hmm. so you know, it's it's everything that happens behind the scenes that you know motivates me as well <laughs> fair enough fair enough and like my last question here is, what can we expect from you in the future? <laughs> I'm working on a TV series right now in Baltimore. So hopefully that comes out soon. I did also just uh, Where the Scary Things Are just came out on Amazon Prime, Google Play, Redbox, all of that. Um, I have a couple commercials airing right now, but for the future, I just, I guess I want to get more involved in more mm -hmm more shows, more films, more commercials, <laughs> just as much as possible. I love work. I love it. That is so, and you know, like the fact, the fact that you doing it because you like it, you know, and it's, and it's working and you're having results from it. I mean, that, I think that is, that is something, I mean, be, besides it being super epic and badass, I mean, I think that's kind of the living proof that dreams can come true, you know, I mean, as, um, because you are making it happen and I, and and what i find interesting is that sometimes it may even take like your whole life to finally understand what makes you happy or to finally get the time to be like okay i want to do this and the fact that you're doing it right now and you're making so much cool things happen here and there that's cool and that's super badass let me just tell you that and i'm super sure that eventually everybody's gonna know about you i mean we all know that it's more than obvious that it's it, it, that it at some point everybody's gonna know about all of your work about what you do because it is it is super cool i love it thank you yeah also um also i want to thank those for watching this right now thank you so much for watching so normally what i would say is for you to put pause and go follow this amazing talented actor that i'm speaking right now i mean let's make her viral like right now like right 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 now and before i send you off I need to send you off properly with an epic send off so if you have seen some of my episodes before you know exactly what i'm about to do but if not I love it because then I can surprise you. So let me just show you. <laughs> you know, at some point we're gonna have live audience, but you know how it goes, right? I mean, low budget operation. We're struggling here and there, but we're but we're, we're, we're making it happen at some point. That's you know what I mean? Alarm clock in the morning every day, actually. That sound, you know. There you go. I yeah, yeah, but. <laughs> as live, uh, as live experience, don't put it as an alarm. I did it once just to, <laughs> why not? And it, and I got like the worst wake up ever. I mean, I woke up like totally scary. Like, okay, okay, you know, like it was cool, but uh, but I was like, yeah, I don't think that I'm gonna ever do that again. So yeah, but if you want to, I mean, it's fun. Let me let me just tell you that that is fun. But anyway, um, so yeah, so keep having an amazing rest of the yeah, an amazing rest of the weekend, uh, an amazing Sunday, and epic things. Epic things for you, sorry, because you deserve all of the epicness, all of the, all of the badass news uh, here. Keep inspiring, keep creating, and uh, I'll see you the next one. All right, thank you so much. Have a good one, okay? Thanks, everyone. Bye. Bye.